what it do what it do y'all what's good with y'all we tune in for another video y'all see it raining out here the ground wet and all of that well it was raining it just wet so i'm hitting y'all with some content i'm out here getting it in i told y'all man i'm trying not to i'm trying to go daily uploads i already messed it up but today man it's a video i've been wanting to do because i've been really wanting to know myself because i don't know i don't heard what people say or that the the name brand rims are lighter than the unnamed brand rims but today i ain't seen no video of it i'm pretty sure somebody has weighed the rims reason people say that but today we about to find out so i got a 24 inch forgiato and i believe this is a youtube 24 inch youtube wheel uh think they both the same width we're gonna measure i mean i'm gonna take get the tape measure we're gonna measure the width and all of that so but first we gotta get these things cleaned up because this bad boy dirty y'all y'all probably know if y'all follow my channel y'all know where this rim come from and where this rim come from so to keep it fair we got two 24s because it definitely wouldn't be fair if i compared my 28 which is an off name brand wheel but i got video coming with all that too though but both on 24s uh same size tire we're gonna check all of it but i'm telling y'all now well this is 30 this is 30 series on here i think we're gonna but i gotta clean them up first man these things is dirty i got to clean them up man we can't have no especially put that thumbnail man we can't have no dirty tire so y'all see i look I, I i ran the garage man i got it straight john john parking spot ready wife and car back in there and this how we're gonna do it keep wife and car in here y'all probably saying why are you keeping this one in here look like this sentimental value man so even when the big rim car come it's gonna be outside yes indeed it's gonna be outside so i'm put a car cover over meat and a car cover over the big rim car and we're gonna keep the mc and john jones in the garage so i'm finna get their purple power i use purple power to clean everything finna get their purple power hit the rim splash splash we finna split splash <coughs> and we're gonna bring them back to life man these things here is dirty y'all see that they are dirty but we finna fix it so stay tuned all right y'all so i'm finna i'm about to splash these things right quick i know y'all probably somebody probably going crazy man he wasted purple power i ain't got no spray bottle man i can buy some we'll buy some more <laughs> it ain't this easy he wasting purple power Y'all probably going crazy. I bet somebody going crazy, gonna go crazy and come in and steal. He wasting it. Oh no. Hey man, ain't this here, man? Alright. They good. We'll buy some more. So, uh, -uh. and look. Y'all might hear Shell and Justina in the background. I just picked Shell up from school. She going, they going ham in there with my mother law. So y'all might hear them, but it's all good. They doing what kids do. But um look at that. But yeah, look, while I'm doing this, might well give y'all some of my real talk because I've been skipping it. I've been skipping it some of the some of the vlogs, man. But look. When you um when you going going about in life, man, you know, stuff get hard and all of that. Look, man, don't don't get mad at the world. Cause I know a lot of people, man. They get mad at the world. They lash out at everybody. They mad at everybody. They don't want to, um... And some people don't want to admit it. They mad at everybody. And that's when hate come out, man. You can, you can find yourself hating before you know it. And you know you'll have to check yourself. But a lot of people don't want to do that. So, when stuff not going right in your life, just stay down, man. Just stay down and stay humble and... and uh congratulate the people that's making it happen right now because your time is coming if you keep working hard and you keep grinding i promise you i'm telling you what i know your time is coming and that's gonna be you in that position and then you ain't gonna want nobody dropping salt on you and hating and all of that so you gotta think about that you gotta think about that just cause you not you might not be shining like you want to right now don't hate on the net man or woman that's getting it done so that my real talk for right now so I ain't gonna bore y'all with this cause I see this gonna take a little elbow grease. And uh, I'm gonna get back with y'all. Hey y'all look, while I'm wiping these rims off, I can tell y'all this boy. It, breast, breast wheels are in right now, but it ain't nothing like some chrome, man, I'm telling you. Cause I'm, I'm cleaning the chrome up. When that chrome, when the car done right, man, chrome is just, 
Chrome is just in. They're funny with wheels, man. It's just like clothes, man. It's like they trends and what this go in, this go out. Same thing with these racing wheels, like the wheel V series. If y'all go to the race track, y'all see nothing but the black and brushed or polished aluminum wheels. That's all you see. That's what's in. But a while back, it was the the racing stalls. The stalls was the thing, man. But you know, they come out with new stuff. That's just how it go. You know, stuff change. So same thing with this. With chrome, everybody want want to ride breast and stuff now. Some people say they look better. They do. But you can make it all look good. If you know what you're doing. If you're a car builder. And it, like I said in every video. You do what you want to do at the end of the day. Go out here trying to do stuff. Call your homeboy say, oh, that lame. Or that, that's not fire. Or that don't look good. It don't look good to you. Look the height to me. <laughs> that's how, that how that's supposed to work. Don't be kidding me, man. Some some people, some people, boy, they they attain they whole plan. They attain they whole life plan because they homeboy, they home girl, or they family member said it ain't it ain't good or it always don't look good or that ain't a good idea. They attain they whole whole mode change, like man, y'all crazy. If that's you, I'm talking y'all crazy. Get yourself together now. It don't work like don't work like that. Well, I said, I don't care how much money you make. When I become a millionaire, I'm still going to move the same way. I'll be able to buy a little bit more what I want. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? With more part, I ain't going to, I'm saying. Because I can move like I want to move now with these cars. I mean, just being honest, the way I want to move. But I still do, I still do what I want to do. So at the end of the day, if, if y'all see me do something, it costs I want to do it. I ain't, I don't care. I had... I have people all the time, man. You ought to put this on there. I'm like, you do it. <laughs> I ain't doing it. And what you want to do, so you need to do that, not me. End of the day. Then, man, it be so funny. Boy, I know I got a lot of local people watch me. But, man, folk be. The hate. The hate be ridiculous, man. Y'all kill me. Y'all kill me, man. It be local people. The worst ones. The worst one, Bun B, they'll say it on the song, man. The worst one be from your own, from your own hood, your own area, and this and that. These folk, boy, these folk be right around me and stuff at the track, this and that. Be talking, pillar talking. But, man, when you have stuff like that, y'all, you gotta, you just gotta keep elevating, man. Keep shining. Give them a reason to talk. People ain't talking about it. Then you ain't worth talking about. I'm sure everybody heard that for real. People not talking about you, you're not worth talking about. That's why people talk about celebrities all the time. Because they worth talking about. But, um. Man, I think this ain't got it. Y'all know these real these forges. My cousin uh, look crazy real. Came off his Camaro. He had a 2011 Camaro thing. Clean, too. And, uh. I told him I need one of these, man. So. For the video. Appreciate him for that. Y'all go follow his YouTube. Look crazy whips addiction. They here, man. They've been sitting up. So y'all see imperfections. It's just what paint chip. He actually bought these rims brand new. Brand spanking new. Like these wheels not used. He bought them directly from Forgiato. Well, I mean Forgiato had to make them stuff. So had them had them painted all of that. So they were made for his car. He always wanted these wheels these particular wheels so they clean up good enough so we're gonna get the tire size with the rim and all that then we're gonna weigh them and see what we get all right so we got the uh wheels cleaned up they look better than they did so i did that for the thumbnail and it wasn't enough dirt to affect the weight sometimes though believe it or not if something dirty enough hey it'll add weight so what we're gonna do and the tire size I get to that. We're gonna measure the width. And hold on. I already knew. I knew what the width is. It when y'all see this is a 10 inch. This 10 inches wide. 10 inch 10 inch wheel. I knew that anyway, cause like I said in a previous video, I was schooling people about rim. Most big rims come in 10 inches. Most of the most of the time. They come in nines or tens. This is a 10 too. 10 inch wheel. So they the same width. 
So this is going to be a, a good comparison. It's a, they the same width and everything. That's why I got them. This rim come from my aunt, Joe Buddy. Y'all see, y'all see, he talking about putting these on his Malibu street car, go rim race. But they the same width, both 10 inches wide. Um, the tires are different sizes, as you can see. That's why that one actually looks taller. It looks taller. It is taller, I mean, height-wise. This go back to my video. If you haven't saw that video, you need to go look at it. How the, the height of your rim and tire affect your gear ratio. Perfect example. Both of these are 20-fold right here. Both of these. 20-folds, but that one over there on the right, taller. Because it has a 255, 30, 24 tire on it. The Forger has a 275, 25, 24. So it's a smaller profile. Tire sizes, the first number is the width of the tire, how wide the tire is. The second number is the actual height. So that's a 30 series, which is why it's taller and thicker. And that's a, a 25 series. When you're getting super clearance, you need a 25 series, but you can get away with 30 series too. And sometimes I like 30 series better car. It's a little more meat. I mean, it's you got a little more to give if you, you know, you hit a, a rut, a pothole. Cause I'm 25 series, they ain't finna show you no love. I'm telling you that now. 30 series, you can make it still happen. But, okay, now let's get, let's get into the video and we're gonna talk about why. This is a three piece wheel. Y'all, I can show y'all why. Cause I see one screw. I get cuzzle tuck it out or something, I don't know. Right there. You have to put these wheels together. One on missing, you put these wheel together, this whole face come off. It's a three piece wheel though. One piece, the LT pole. Which one lighter? And we're gonna talk about how that can help and how it can hurt. So I'm gonna get the scale and we finna measure these things. We finna weigh up my mint. Stay tuned. Alright, so I got my scale. Y'all see that? Scale gotta be on a, a balanced surface. You can't rock. If it rock, it ain't gonna tell you a true read. So it got it gotta be on a flat spot. There we go, right there. Y'all see, it ain't rocking no more. So it's in a flat spot. So, had my wheel up here. I had to get y'all that thumbnail. Get y'all that nice thumbnail. Uh, so, that's why I did all that work. All that cleaning for a thumbnail. But uh, yeah. So, we gonna measure. I keep saying measure. We gonna uh, weigh the Forgy. The Forgy Auto first. So let me see. Hey, put stop stop the video. I want y'all to put in the comments. I want y'all to comment below how much y'all think this Forgiato is gonna weigh, and comment how much you think this uh the YouTube the YouTube gonna weigh. So comment below. And if you saw my other video and you knew, if, or if you be listening to everything you can remember, then you might you might already have a ballpark figure. Cause I said how much my 28s weigh. So let me see. Let's get it up there. Get all the way on there. All right. I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all can't see it. It kind of glaring. I'm gonna have to make it dark. Come on, we gotta do better than this. There you go. Y'all see? And look on that. I ain't touching that. Uh oh. Oh, I done met rock with rocked it too much. Uh-uh. Oh man, the battery what? you got to be kidding me. The battery low, man. I gotta change the battery right quick, man. We got to change the battery or it won't read right. Let me put a battery in this thing, and then we're gonna try this again. Alright, we got new batteries in it. We good to go. Back flush. Now let's try this again. I leave boy. Alright, we're gonna set this bad boy up here. See what that thing say. Seventy seven point six pounds. So the four Giados is seventy seven point six pounds. Alright, so we weighed that one. The four G. And now we finna weigh this old let me zoom out. With this U2, and like I said, the only difference is that this got a taller town. I was thinking about shit with the deductor pound or whatever, but I think it might balance out. 
because this tire is wider. This is 275, but it's shorter, but it's 25 series. This tire is only a 255, but it's a 30 series. So I guess it'll bounce out. But now I'm gonna tell y'all, I've heard three piece or lighter than the LT pole. Cause you big rim racing, yeah, you definitely wanna see this. And this could vary too. It could be the way these designs too. I forgot to throw that in there. They got a lot to do with it. But you would think this weighs more. It got more spokes. Now uh, listen, I don't know. No talk. I get to it. Let's see. Let's see what this thing about to say. Got it too. Oh, there you go. Got it on the sensor. Man, are you serious? 74.4 pounds. 74. Man, I'm away. I'm away I'm again. I'm away this again, man. They said the three piece rims lighter. It's not looking that way. <laughs> yeah, it ain't looking that way, so let me see. Let's see, try it again. 74. Uh oh. 74.4. Alright. So this U2 is 74.4 pounds. Now, let's try to forge it. Y'all see? It's still level in the corners. I ain't rocking. Let's try this forge again. Seventy seven point six again. Seventy seven point six. Scale gave the same weight two times. Two times in a row. So that right there. Man, this is a better thumbnail, man. I think I'ma I'ma change that thumbnail. I know I told y'all earlier, I'ma change that thumbnail. I'ma use that one for the other video I'm gonna talk about. I'm finna shoot another one too. But I ain't wanna include them in all in the same video. But they're crazy, man. We let, we finna, we about to talk about this, so let me get all this out of the way, then we're going to talk about this. Hey, look, let me throw this in here while I'm at it before I close the video out. Since uh, people, you know, we big rim racing is the thing now, I just want to show people the difference. The difference it'll make in an ET when you mount a racing wheel up. And these ain't, these actually cheap racing wheel. They, they aluminum, but they heavier than... When you drop the bag and spend buy some expensive racing wheel, so you talking about running these on the front, right? And those twenty four now. Let's keep in mind twenty six is my twenty eight. One of my twenty eights weighs one hundred and four pounds of rim. For my one piece twenty eights, they they weigh one hundred and four pounds of rim. So let's say we took a three piece twenty eight and it's that same wheel. Nine times out of ten, it might be heavier than mine. You might be looking at hundred and seven or eight pounds of wheel so you're talking about 400 extra pounds i'm bolting i'm about to bolt on my uh box let's say i get to the track and say man let me put these on here so i got two front runners this got a regular tie look at that uh oh 38 pound flat this is 17 at front runner 15 will be a little lighter so they're 38 pounds one of them was 70 something. That you cut the weight in half. Cut the weight in half. This the back rim. They're going to be a little heavier. Cause it's a tie. So this the back rim and, and the drag radio. Fit the 1.2. Still. You talking about. You talking about 20 pounds lighter. 20 pounds lighter. So mounting the radials. Mounting on D, let me see, 51 pounds of wheel, so that's 102 pounds, and these were 38, so 102 and 38, a wheel is 76, 102, 76, they're 178, so 102 for the back two wheels, and 76, uh, 76 for the front two wheels, is 178 pounds so you talking about 178 pounds for all four of these 
if I were to take my 28s off, I immediately, I just lost 300 some pounds. 270 some pounds gone like that just with a tie chain. So that don't make a difference now. I just want to show y'all that. I just thought that would be cool to throw in the video so people can see. And these are cheap rims. If they were more expensive rims, they would have been even lighter than that. I know. I done picked them up side by side. Some of my homeboys got some more expensive rims. So just thought I'd throw that in there. Yeah, y'all see I got my other thought there now, so we're gonna run with that one. But uh let's talk about this. Alright. So right now, you're trying to go rim racing. Y'all talking about these very expensive wheels or lighter ain't looking too good. Them thing right there are three pounds lighter than that. I'ma tell you why too. And I had a I had a feeling now, it's a lot of factors go into this, because it depends on what that, that wheel made out of. Some of these wheels be billet, some of them be aluminum. Man, I'm about, about to spill some beans on what I'm going to do, but I, I, can't, I can't do that right now. But anyway, it's later down the line, y'all see. But um, it's the materials. Now, I know for a fact, the El Tipo rims, as, as people like to call, that ain't nothing but plated. Most of them just plated anyway, all of them. But I know it's they some of these will be like plastic, like some kind of thick plastic. These wheels right here. Cause you if you ever seen the chrome tipping off a wheel, then you know what I'm talking about. Them wheels that done really had it and done been through it, you'll see what I'm talking about. When the chrome plate start peeling off of it. Some of these too. But um it's the material. The design of the wheel has a lot to do with it. And this really I mean, it don't matter in some cases, but if you're trying to rim race, every pound matter. Believe me, every single pound matter. If you just want to ride, I mean, you're carrying the weight. I mean, you put strain on your transmission, your drive train, everything. But, I mean, if you're building this train to go, it's cool. But still, the fact more weight puts strain on the drive train. It's just period. So, every pound matter. But, you're talking about a uh, three-pound difference between these wheels. I think that was 77 and this was 70. Yeah, yeah, 74. So you're talking about three pounds, three pound difference, and then you're talking about 12 pounds all together. 12 pound difference, all four of them. Uh, so this is a real world test, man. I mean, between these two. Like I said, the design of the wheels has a lot to do with it because depending on how the wheel design, then they have to use more or less material. So that that has a lot to do with it. This might not be the um this might not be the outcome in all okay all the time. It's gonna be times where cheap wheels are heavier than three piece wheels. It's gonna be times, as y'all see now, where three piece wheels are heavier than cheap wheels. It depends on how they design. So I mean you gotta take all that into consideration before a person just pop up and say, Well, the three piece wheel's lighter. Y'all see that ain't true, man. Real world test. Both of these rims the same width. This one actually got a taller tie on it. It's still lighter. It got a taller tie, but it's slimmer. That one got a wider tie, but it's shorter. But this is a real world test. I mean, I tamed the batteries. I'm glad I did, because if I didn't, it would not uh it would not put a, the right weight up there. And I checked it. I weighed myself. I weighed myself all the time. Y'all know I'll be in the gym in the fitness and stuff, so the scale right. Uh y'all see I weighed them twice. I weighed them twice. Right there, back to back, they said the same way every time. So, I mean, uh, like I said, it's a lot of facts, but you can't get no closer than this. If that thing had a shorter tone, it would probably been a little bit lighter than what it is. It probably been 73, touched in the 73 point something. But, uh, I mean, what can you say? So, performance why weight matters. And if you really race, then you know that every single pound matters. I don't care. Get, get what you can get out of it. So, um. Uh, that's crazy, man. Cause I read in the comment, everybody three piece wheels lighter. Some of them, let's say some of them now. Not all of them. That's not a fact. That's not a concrete fact. So you can't just throw out there the general fact that uh, three piece wheels lighter. Can't do it. Can't do it. Some stuff is a fact all the time. Cause it never changes. But now nah, you can't. Can't just say that. So it depends on what you get. It depends on the material. Uh, all of that. And you know what's crazy? I'm pick, when I was picking these rims up, the Forgiato, when I was lifting, it actually felt lighter. And me, I was thinking it was going to be lighter. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I was thinking the wheel was going to be lighter, but they're not. So today, 
<laughs> in today's battle, the uh, the teak wheels come out on top. So the U2s come out on top weight-wise. Today's battle, so uh, that's it, man. I mean, it don't ain't nothing else to talk about. I mean, it's just what it is. So uh, not saying one is better than the other. But uh, you're going to have to catch the other video for that, man. So y'all make sure y'all check out that other video. I'm going to talk about the differences between uh, unnamed brand wheels and these name brand wheels. So y'all definitely want to check that video out. Uh, but yeah, that's it, man. I mean, I don't have nothing else to talk about. I mean, I just want to see. I've been wanting to do this for a minute. Ever since I saw comments and people was telling me in person, and them three-piece wheels lighter. I've been wanting to see for myself. I'm a person, I don't take information all the time and just run with it, depending on who it's coming from. I want to see myself. I want to know the facts. So, yeah, that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm trying to teach y'all, too. Put y'all on some game. Take the guesswork out. Because it's a lot of stuff on the internet. A lot of stuff on the internet. But I'm doing real world. I'm going to teach y'all, like, hey, this is what it is. So, hope y'all enjoyed it, man. I appreciate all the love, all the new subscribers. Everybody, man, we we uh we going up. Y'all see, wife call here. Just stay tuned. Box shaving on the way. Nitrous on the way. Everything on the way. So yeah, that's it. Catch y'all in next video. And like I said, you gonna want to check my other video out talking about the differences between the real pros versus cons. And on uh, that's it.